So after a wild day of witnessing miracles, the disciples had to get in a boat and go home. But I get to drive. So I'm going to head on over to the Galilee Boat Museum and look at what the boat that Jesus and the disciples were sailing would have looked like. So let's buckle up and drive on over there. You know me, safety first. I'm here at Genesar, a few miles south of Capernaum, and behind me is a first century fishing boat that was discovered in 1986. I thought this would be a great opportunity to share an authentic artifact that would help put these first century Sea of Galilee stories into better context. During a major drought here at the Sea of Galilee, two brothers noticed a large oval shape in the muddy shoreline. Representatives of Israel's Department of Antiquities checked it out and confirmed that it was the remains of an ancient fishing vessel. What happened next was remarkable. Working around the clock, the boat was exhumed from the mud over an 11 day period in a painstaking process that preserved the fragile remains. The boat was wrapped in a polyurethane shell and then immersed in a special tank of water. Over a period of years, the rotten wood was replaced with a special wax underwater. Ultimately, through a process of gradually raising the water temperature over a period of many months, the wax-filled shell was removed from the tank and placed on display. The boat behind me is now known as the Galilee boat or the Jesus boat. Multiple studies have dated the ancient vessel to between 100 BC and 100 AD. The structure and features of the vessel are consistent with fishing boats mentioned throughout the gospel accounts and in ancient artwork of the period. 